Going back to our Kubernetes overview, we're going to use the kubectl client to send direct commands to the master. We want it to deploy an image that we'll find in Docker's public registry, Docker Hub, and expose that application through the gateway. We're going to start by looking at what a deployment is. On the kubernetes.io website, a deployment provides declarative updates for pods and replica sets. So rather than having to create individual pods and replica sets and manage those independently, we can define one resource, a deployment, and Kubernetes will take care of creating the pods and replica sets necessary to achieve that state. As you'll see, this gives us a number of opportunities, such as providing rollback to previous versions of deployments, performing rolling updates, pausing and resuming deployments, and so on. For this tutorial, we'll do a simple deployment of an Nginx web server. And for that, we'll use the official Nginx image from Docker Hub. The kubectl run command tells Kubernetes to create a new deployment. In this case, we're telling it to give that new deployment a name, MyNginx. And we're further telling it to use the image Nginx. In the absence of registry information, it assumes that the Nginx image can be found on Docker Hub. We want this to create two replicas, and we want each container or pod to be exposed on port 80. So we run this, at which point Kubernetes replies back that the deployment was created, and we can say kubectl get deployments my Nginx. And we see our deployment that there are two desired, two current, two up-to-date, but none available. We can further describe this deployment to get additional details. This gives us a closer look at our new deployment. While we wait for those containers to come online, we can run kubectl expose deployment command. And in this case, we're telling it to expose the MyNGINX deployment. We want it to expose it on port 8300. That's the port on the gateway that we'll use to access our application. And the target port is 80. Because you'll recall that we told NGINX to expose our MyNGINX application on port 80. So now that we have a service exposed, we can ask kubectl to get services. And we're interested in the MyNGINX service and we see that it is exposed on port 80. We can further describe this new deployment, and you'll see a number of interesting things. One is that in addition to the cluster IP address, there are two endpoints defined, one for each of the containers that are running in our Nginx deployment. If we check back on our deployment, we can see that we now have two containers available. And since our gateway is running on IP address 192.168.13.183 and port 8300, we should be able to load 